How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Unworthy. I'm in a good mood. Good high spirits. After having a very defeating, crushing episode, the last one was very uplifting. We accomplished a lot. It felt, felt, felt great. We're coming in on Thornvale, a totally new area. Looks very cool, very aesthetically different from the rest. I'm digging all this cool, twisty, brambly shit going on in the background and everything. Excited to see what this has to offer. Excited excited timid scared a lot of a lot of things but mostly excited get out of there crows that's mine i don't care what it is i want it hmm concerning that there's been so few enemies just fire my way across i is the whole point of this area just that there's a fuckload of ways that you can die because there's thorns everywhere Please tell me there's a safe spot over there. Okay, that's good. This area must have been impossible. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Before they improved how the spirit bow worked, it used to, like, draw back much more quickly. And, you know, you could do these stupid little dinky, like, you could basically make it drop where you're standing and that doesn't do any good whatsoever i think the motivation behind improving the spirit bow was to make this area easier if i remember correctly i just at the time didn't know what the hell thornvale was ah hello welcome to thornvale this guy's very welcoming for being a horrible tentacle monster the garden of sin mm, so it's uh it's not that nice of a place is it kind of like a, a warped garden of eden did garden the garden of eden become the garden of sin after sin was introduced could be. She is restless. She moves. She changes. She plays tricks on the mind. Oh, and she will consume your sin. Your delicious sin. I have plenty to offer. Would you like to take a peek? Whoa. Do you have anything like a soul flame essence, perhaps? No? Is he just selling me... He's selling me sin for sin? That's confusing. Gabrielle. Uh, no, I think I'm good. You naive fool. The garden will claim your sin. Mm, no, I, I want, I want the sin. I would really, really like to, uh, sell it to the guy up top, to the gravekeeper, whose name I didn't bother learning. I feel like a, a, a bit of a bad guy for not bothering to learn his name. What's going on? Why does it think I can't go further past? Ooh, even there's just like a weird little scarecrow guy made of thorn. Oh, God damn it. I wonder if maybe I'm not ready for Thornvale yet. I'll try. I guess I'll try it out. Even though it does wig me out some. That I could potentially lose all this. Wait, what good did that do? I gotta land in the middle. I gotta land in the middle here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that you could climb those. Uh, I don't know what good being up top would do then, because there's clearly that thing out to the right that would try and kill me. I'd like to avoid things that try to kill me. But spore attacks, thorn things, warping my mind. Oh my fucking god. What the shit is going on? That was not cool. I, uh, I think I don't like Thornvale. Apparently my brain got poisoned. Fuck, I need to go try and get that sin back, though. Oh, now I see there's, you know, things all over the place that you can climb. Wait, did the layout of this place fucking change? Oh, good. For a second it really seemed like it did. I was wigging out real hard. Wait, what? Maybe it did fucking change. There's nowhere to go down this time. It legitimately j j did just take all my sin. What the fuck is wrong with this? What? I can't attack that thing? I guess it just hides when you get near? Now it makes a lot more sense why it just shows shows up as one big fucking area despite you moving around within it. 
This sucks. Thornvale fucking sucks. There's like a very real chance I'm never ever getting that back. Oh, uh, what could this possibly be? Enter portal? <sighs> That's probably like the end goal of this whole area, but I kind of want to go see if I can get that sin back first because I fucking need it. Oh, good, 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 good. At least I'll earn stuff back quickly, it seems like. A thousand at a time? That's good. Good for me. Child of Seeds. When the roots finally reached the caverns and polluted the waters, all was consumed. The once blossoming in gardens of Thornvale eventually became a fertile ground for children of filth. More ties into the filth thing, eh? Ooh, they can kind of teleport around. Gotta be careful of some of that shit. Damn you! That's enough of that. No more, no more of this teleporty shit. How the fuck am I supposed to fight you when you do that? Don't, you can't just do it every time, man. You gotta make things at least a little bit fair for me. There you fucking go. Stand goddamn still. And then don't do that. Oh, fucking the toxin shit. Don't want that to add up too much, because then that's when things get real fucked. Oh god, I hate this. I hate it so much. I'm just gonna ride this out down here. Let that slowly fade so I can see my feet again. I gotta wait till my sword stop looking like, looking like a, a snake or something. Oh god, it explodes on death? Why? All of this is fucked. Thornvale is awful. I'm going to the portal. I don't want to spend any more goddamn time here than I need. I might have just gotten very lucky that the portal spawned so, so near, so I might as well go investigate, right? Hey, Kiln. I mean, I, I may have lost whatever it was, 11,000 sin, but whatever. I want to be done with this nice and quickly if I can. Ah, shit. Okay, the forest dancer. Oh my goodness. Is that is it like clapping? Seems like a happy little critter, doesn't it? To just clapping her, clapping her way around. I'm probably going to have to spirit bow my way away from this now and again, aren't I? Maybe I should just be attacking with a bow. What do you guys think happens if I teleport my way up top here? Oh shit, oh wait, that's not good. Can't be up there. Oh fucking, this thing attacks with toxins as well. Gotta give that a minute to ride out. What are you doing? Are you healing? What are you doing? Oh, fucking... Oh shit, okay, that's when you have to, that's when you have to escape up top then, is when she starts doing that shit. Because that was a very strong attack. And you can't really roll past it, because she burns up the whole ground. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on, ooh, okay. Okay, I know how to do one thing in this battle now. I, I was picturing that she had some weird big floppy beak type thing, but I think it's actually just her hair now that I think about it a little a little bit more. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This is a, a good excuse to get good with this bow. Father Amondil was not. Fuck that dude. <laughs> He's got a lot of hate for that man. Oh, fucker. Hey, that glad I was able to dodge. My all my my extra Extra amount of stamina, I'm sure, helped out a great deal there. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> oh no, you botched that like once and you're dead. I think I'll come to be very happy with my decision to not spend any more time than necessary in Thorn Town. You know, that's not what it's called, I just hate it a lot and don't want to refer to it by its real name. Okay. Gotta react a little better with the spirit bow there. Take your time just a tiny, tiny bit. The, the panicked freak out uses of the spirit bow there do not work out. Slow, make sure you get it right. That was, that was not very good. I was quite lucky. 
shit. Oh god, I was so close to dying there. Oh god, it's gonna be really hard to do this. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Oh, I had the stupid toxin working against me there, so it was kind of hard to tell what I was doing. That was, uh, that was a good way to burn through a, a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, potions awfully quickly. Oh god, now and again, those platforms are very tiny. Now and again, I th think I've botched it. And it just barely, barely makes it on there. Oh god, that was too much toxin. Fuck that. Fuck that, she's gonna try and use her her move or that thing, and I'm not gonna be able to tell what's going on. Shit, I'm dead. I'm basically dead. Just fuck that. There goes all my potioning. Oh fuck, I wasn't sure what her weird little stompy move was gonna be. Oh good. Just jacked full of the toxins. Well, I basically gotta go balls out to try and win this. Cannot, cannot waste a single fucking step. And all of a sudden the fall kills me? All those different times jumping off the ledge and all of a sudden death that time? Why? I wonder if I should be using the hammer just for the extra damage. Although having that shield has saved me quite a lot because each one of those hits with the toxins suck a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the death on this one. I fucked this one up really hard. That was a terrible start. Stupid shield. All right, I'm putting that away so you can't shield anymore. Apparently, it was a, a bad thing once. I don't know what music she's clapping along to. I mean, good for her for dancing to a the beat of her own drum, but it is not matching the music that is playing in the game at all, so I, I don't know what she's listening to. Maybe she's got her Walkman in. I assume down here, like, iPhone technology hasn't, you know, made its way over yet. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Maximum arc. Oh, and then I fucking accidentally rolled off the cliff anyways. That sucked. That was... that sucked a lot. Well, I fucked that up big time. I almost feel like I should probably just take the death again. I'm gonna try the hammer next time. Apparently I have a thing with uh, spirit bow based bosses. Uh, we don't get along very well. They are, they are a big source of trouble for me. I swear the bow is like working differently than normal. All of a sudden I can't even come close to drawing it properly. Why is it shooting so f It's got like no arc on it. What the fuck is going wrong with it? Like what the sh shit is that? It doesn't actually even come back down. Something is legitimately wrong with it all of a sudden. I have to do the weirdest, shortest little shots to... It's, it didn't even teleport me that time. What the fuck is going wrong with the bow? There, I had to exit and come back. Now it's working the way it's supposed to. It actually lights up and, you know, does the shit it's supposed to. So maybe I won't just get fucking dominated this time because I'll have a working thing. Oh, because I had to exit and come back, I'm suddenly not using the hammer anymore. Whatever, the sword's fine. I like having the block, especially since, like, getting hit by the toxin even once can be such a huge detrimental thing. I thought she was about to go for her, her little squatty potty. Oh, got that time for two attempts there. See, that's how the bow is meant to work, you dumb forest dancer. You've been dancing all this time. You didn't even know how bows worked. Shit. Ah, I did that one just fine. Damn you! You move like that, it's impossible to fucking hit you. Oh, God. Shit. Ugh. I... 
was like hardly able to track her down to get any hits off at all that time. That was super irritating. I was like not quite fast enough to catch up to her. Whoop. This extra stamina has made such a huge difference for me. I feel like I I rarely have to think about it because I, I don't know combined with my increased patience for landing attacks and everything the now, now and again that I do get the chance to uh, to land the attacks then you know I, I, I take my short break I recover the stamina and then I have plenty of time to roll around like a shitload and oh fuck 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 oh no 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 oh god damn it so many fuck ups there and just a few quick ways oh She's not nearly as good as that as Gaston was. Come on, so close. As long as she doesn't get too much more complicated with her moves, I should be able to finish this off, no problem. Fuck, that was a lot of toxin all at once there. God damn it, god damn it, I can't tell what's going on and I'm just getting mangled. Fuck, that was exactly what I didn't want to happen. Me getting nearly killed is what I mean when I say what I didn't want to happen, If in case that was somehow unclear. Oh, fuck that stupid shit coming up from the ground. Her stupid stampy feet. Alright, I'm gonna try the hammer this time. It's hard to catch up to her and land the attacks properly, so having a slower attacking thing might not be the right choice. Ah, uh, man, and I, I immediately miss having the shield, so... I don't know. I think the sword and shield is better for this particular battle, but I guess I'll see it through with the hammer this once. Wait, do you take damage jumping off those high parts every friggin' time? Because if so, that's really shitty to include that in the game. That, like, a thing you have to do to fight the boss is a thing that does hurt you. The extra damage from the hammer is real great to have, but, uh... You know, I... I don't know, maybe it is kind of worth it, landing those big heavy attacks. Like, only those? I could definitely have done this better. I mean, you know, technically you can do it without getting hit, I'm sure, but it's very impossibly hard to pull off. Oh my goodness. Quit this. It's too much toxin shit. There's no way I win this round. Oh, I tried to land an extra hit on her at a very stupid time. Maybe I only do the big charge up shots. All right, we're, the hammer, the hammer gets one more chance. I like wait for her to come to me. Ah, she's, she's just that one time she didn't whip her hair out for some reason. All right, I think that was a lot of damage very quickly. That was uh that was more than I've ever done before in that first little section before her first fire dance. She's switching it up to her more advanced attacks a lot more quickly. Come back here. Ah, oh, shit. Already going for her forest poop. Squatting down, burying it in a hole. That does fucking hurt me. There's got to be a way to do that that doesn't hurt me. Maybe if you're holding the bow or something instead, maybe specifically for whatever reason the hammer is like, it weighs you down and you take extra damage from that. Shit. I don't have to, I don't have to hit her too many more times with that. Oh. Let's see, let's see how I nimbly bow things. Or if I start rolling, ah, it does, I think it does hurt you less, which is a very goofy mechanic. Damn you and your shit. Come on, come on. I can never attack you if you chain together that many stupid skills together that quickly. 
Nice, 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 nice. Oh, no, that was a mistake. I've done that before. Oh, fuck all this. You're the worst. Come on. No, 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 no. I didn't have any stamina to roll away. All oh, it would have taken just one more hit. Just one more hit. I'm certain of it. That wasn't death 100, it might have been like 101. I haven't checked in a little while, actually. 98! Ah, we're doing fine. <laughs> I bet you could learn the exact timing between how often she does her hair whip attack, because there's obviously like, I don't know if you would call it a cooldown, but there's essentially a cooldown in between when she uses it. So you could be a little riskier with your attacks and stuff if you knew the exact timing on that. Be a little bit more aggressive overall. Ooh. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Uh, well, just gonna take a big loss there. Fucking didn't have the stamina recovered again. I think that might have been death 100. I was doing terribly on that one. I just, just let it happen. Man, maybe if I had that halberd that you could get from the gravekeeper. I really wish I had that item all of a sudden. Because that maybe would make a big difference. Who knows how much easier it is to use or how much damage it does or anything like that. And yes, that was death 100. It has officially happened. Maybe the times I've... Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe the times I've jumped down and um, been hurt are because I'm landing on like the remaining trails of her fire move or something. I just got an achievement probably for dying 101 times or something like that. It's masochism, so probably, probably something to do with dying a lot. 101 times. Sweet. This would be unfucking doable without the, the extra flasks that I now have. I mean, I think I heard the developers say that within like less than a week of the game coming out, people had uh, like killed every boss in the game at, with like out getting hit. So obviously it's doable. I personally cannot imagine. <laughs> Not, not, just jumping down, just holding the hammer, you still take damage, so fucking that's the dumbest thing ever in this game. Jesus, I barely dodged that. <sighs> Nearly got it off. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Please. Oh, barely. Jesus Christ. Didn't want it. I didn't want to get too close because she was probably going to use her fucking hair whip move. Jaden Smith over here. Always whipping hair. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You bitch. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off with that. Oh, she's going to do the thing one more time. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Come on. I know, I know I can pull this off. I just have to be a little, a little careful. Oh, you bitch. You goddamn bitch. Oh, my God. Do you get back all the sin that you've lost in the forest, in the Thornvale? There's a chance that that's how that was set up. Oh, thank fucking. You, you bastard. Have you brought more sin? No. You can go to hell. No, the garden will not claim anything from me. I claimed everything from the garden. Under city key. The relics. No, that would have been the new thing. Dancer's legs. Dismembered legs of a dancer dance to the rhythm of death. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Yeah, but seriously, what the hell is that for? Unlike the other denizens of Thornvale, the Dancer is a creature of both flesh and filth. In past life, she was but a simple girl with dreams of grandeur. Whoa! 
I just accidentally kind of teleported myself up into a thing there, but I wasn't expecting it and kind of like fell out of it. Sinner's Heart grants a single atonement. Shit, yes, please. I would love that. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is sketchy having to go back through all of this spiky area. Luckily, I'm a little more comfortable with the Sinner's Bow these days. But it's still, I, I would hate to have to run back for all this fucking sin. Going to that upper spot is for another time. Right now, I just want to go claim the the friggin' halberd thing and and the, the gravekeeper's key. Gatekeeper? Gravekeeper? He was one of those two. Lots of sin to be claimed climbing my way back out of here. So I'll be able to buy the weapon and... And the other thing, no problem. Hey, I wonder if it's these big slow enemies weapons that uh, I, I would be using if I bought that new thing from that dude. <gasps> I just had an idea. Can you spirit bow up to here? Really? Hmm. Guess the game just didn't want you to. I'm gonna have to remember to go back to that marked by death guy. I just remembered that I, I have officially done that now. So, Gravekeeper's Key. Yes, please. Hopefully you can uh, take me somewhere cool. And the massive frayed halberd. Yes. Please. A key. But what is a key without a lock and a lock without secret? Well, that's uh, that's, that's something I plan on finding out. You don't you don't have to worry your pretty little head about it. It'll be part of my own grand new mission, and let's let's give her a try. Do Oshi Kurosu. Holy shit! They actually named a weapon after a YouTuber. How did I not realize that that's what that was before? Oshi is a, he, he commonly streams and stuff, but he, he also has been playing Unworthy. I'm not sure if he still has, but I know back at the time of the alpha that he and I were both playing it at the same time. That's sick. That's so cool. I'm quite jealous that he was able to have that. Well, it definitely, its first attack is very slow. Second one is very quick. And then it has uh, the big finisher move there. And we better try out the big spin move, too. <laughs> this is fucking cool. I, the, Oshi, the Oshi is very awesome. And congrats to him for I, making it into this game. That's, I guess, where I'm going to be leaving it for now. I I guess I backtrack. I guess I, guess I try and go uh, to some of those new areas I haven't been. Where the heck am I trying to look at here? This. This up top here, I've never been to. And now I have this new key. Maybe the key can let me into some of this stuff down here. We'll make our way back to Father Amondil at some point. But there's a it's a huge area. And uh, it, it seems like we only have a couple little areas left to explore over here. So let's focus on dealing with this first, shall we? 